Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many rookie iOS developers encounter on their journey. Our viewer asks, do I need an iOS device to archive an Xcode project? Let's break down the situation. Our viewer is a rookie iOS developer eager to launch their first app, but is facing some frustrating hurdles. They don't own an iOS device and have been relying on simulators for testing. Despite having all the necessary certificates and a profile on iTunes Connect, they're struggling to archive their project. The viewer has encountered specific errors that are blocking their progress. They need to plug in a device for Xcode to register it, but without an iOS device, this is impossible. They've created the required certificates, yet Xcode can't seem to find them. And to top it off, they're facing additional errors that just won't go away. So, if you're in a similar situation or just curious about the archiving process in Xcode, stick around. We're here to explore solutions and help our viewer get their app ready for launch. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. First, let's address the issue of needing a physical iOS device to archive your Xcode project. Unfortunately, Xcode requires a connected device for certain operations, including archiving. However, there are workarounds. One option is to use a cloud-based service that provides virtual iOS devices. Services like Mac Stadium or AWS Device Farm can help you test and archive your app without needing a physical device. Next, regarding the certificates and provisioning profiles, ensure that they are correctly set up in Xcode. Go to the Signing and Capabilities tab in your project settings and verify that your team and profiles are selected correctly. If Xcode still cannot find your certificates, try refreshing your provisioning profiles. You can do this by going to Xcode Preferences, selecting Accounts, and clicking Download Manual Profiles. Finally, if you encounter additional errors, make sure your Xcode is updated to the latest version. Sometimes, bugs in older versions can cause unexpected issues during the archiving process. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You don't need a physical iOS device to archive your Xcode project. The key is to set up the right provisioning profile. Make sure to create a production certificate, an app ID that matches your app bundle, and a production provisioning profile. For more details on provisioning profiles and publishing your app, check out the links provided. Good luck with your app development. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.
Thank <laughs> you.